So my husband and I have been working on some really big things. We're really excited. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another day in the life. Today, I thought it would be fun to take you along and see how my day goes. We're going to go to a local um, kids shop. They are having a sale, so I'm gonna stop by there and see if I can find anything good for the boys. And yeah, I'm not sure what else we're going to be doing today. Hi, Oki. Uh, but keep on watching and we'll see what we get into. Okay, are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's go get in the car. I'm really excited. The shop, oh, that'll change, yeah. Um, the shop we are going to is called Baby Cubby. Um, and it's local to Utah, but it has the cutest stuff. It has just like such fun things. And every year they do like a big annual tent sale. And so we're going to that. So my husband and I have been working on some really big things. We're really excited. Um, it's gonna be a huge change for us. I think we're going to uh, talk about it um, and do just kind of like an announcement video. We'll do that, I don't know, in the next few days. Um, we're just making sure that everything is finalized and like all of our ducks are in a row. So. That'll be really exciting. I am so excited to tell you guys it's going to create a lot of fun content. It's gonna create just like, I don't know. I, it'll be good, I'm excited. So um, that's gonna be coming up, but that's been taking up like, oh my gosh, so much of our time. And it's hard to like think of other things to talk to you guys about because it's literally like all I've been thinking about, all I've been like talking about and so It'll be great to finally be able to be um, more open about it with everybody and I don't know, share our lives more fully with everyone. So I'm really excited about that. I'll just do a quick little kids update. Sai is now five months old. He is doing really great at rolling over. He will roll over um, both ways now. So with Sai, I actually started giving him solids a little bit earlier than I usually would have. And that's because when we went to um, his pediatrician, his pediatrician said that he looks like he could be ready for solids sooner and also his weight was a little bit down. Um, and so he said we could start solids earlier. So I decided to do that. So because he is a little bit younger, I decided to, instead of going straight into baby led weaning, which is what we did with Oak, um, to give him some oatmeal. So I took like just our basic oatmeal that we have and like blended it up so it's really fine. And then I'll just add a little bit of butter um, and water and cook that up. And then I'll add my, I have like frozen breast milk. So I just kind of like break it up and, and add like breast milk cubes. Um, and then I'll either add like some sort of fruit to sweeten it or I've added avocado. He doesn't like the avocado as much. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But um, he really likes it when I add some fruit in it to make it sweet. So I've been giving him that just once a day and able to um, just try out a little bit of food for him. And I think he's been like really liking it. When he, oh, I can insert, I have like a video about it. So I can insert like a little video. So the very first time he tried it, he hated it. He was like, what the heck is this? Um, but now as time has gone on, he's really, I feel like he's really started to like it um, and he gets kind of excited about it. He knows now to like open his mouth for the spoon, which is so fun. So um, I feel like that's going really well. Once he hits six months, I think we'll just switch right over to baby led weaning and I think it'll go really well for him. Near our house, there is a beautiful like botanical garden. Uh, and so we went and did, they have a tulip festival every year. So we went to the Tulip Festival yesterday, which is tons of fun. I can insert some pictures. Uh, Oak loves to smell flowers. He loves to like run. There was like a pond. And so he definitely spent a lot of time throwing rocks in the water because that is one of his favorite activities to do. Okay, this is the line for the thing and it wraps literally all the way around. You can't tell because there's trees. Okay, well, I think we are probably gonna stand in line because I have nothing else to do right now um, and my baby is sleeping. So hopefully Oak does okay. Oak, you ready to go stand in line? Yeah. You wanna go stand in line? Yeah. yeah so we're gonna go stand in this super long line and uh, hopefully it's not for nothing. Now I feel like I have to buy something because <laughs> I'm gonna be in this long, long line. So, yep. So we 
are back from the crazy sale. Unfortunately, I feel like, I don't know, it like wasn't great. I've been in the past and I've just liked a lot of things more. Um, so I did get a few things, but I don't know. I think I was also stressed because Sai woke up like basically right when I left, which meant Darren had to watch him. And so Darren wasn't super happy about it. Oh, be careful. Anyways, although it was kind of nice because when I got home, um, I could just like feed him and put him back to sleep. So he's taking another nap and that's actually kind of nice. Uh, so I just got a couple of things. I got this um, plan pig, mostly just because Oak loved it. He saw it and was like immediately like piggy, piggy and is super excited about that. So I think it's cute and it's like got a lot of weight to it. I think it's like stone or something. Not sure exactly what it is, but it says it's sustainably made, which I really love. Then I got this little sun hat for Sai. I think it is so cute. Love that. And it's like a beautiful linen material. And then lastly, I just got these freshly picked moccasins. So I love these. They're just like a beautiful blue, have a lot of texture to them, and they are a size three. So it'll be a while till he wears them. At that age, I feel like it's so hard to find good shoes for kids because it like hurts their feet and I like their feet to be able to move. And I have like a couple other pairs of moccasins from Freshly Picked and I really love them. Uh, they're just like really pricey. So it was great to get those on sale. And yeah, so I just picked up those three things. Um, so now we are back home. We just finished doing like putting like sinking and floating. So we'd find a bunch of just random stuff in the backyard and then he'd put rocks in and rocks sink and like plants float. So we did like floating versus sinking, um, which is always a fun little activity to do. Um, and now I might just like play with Oak on the tramp for a little while. And I think I might want to do a sensory activity or maybe we'll do some chalk outside, but you can come hang along with us as we the jackpot of parenting. Um, Oak didn't even want me to play with him. He just wanted to play by himself with the water and the cars and the tramp. So he was like, mama, go. I can probably clean. I probably should clean too. Tomorrow we're going to be doing a garage sale. I need to go through, oh, that's something I'll probably show you guys. I need to go through my clothes um, and just get rid of, like go through all of my clothes and see like what I want to get rid of and what I want to sell in the garage sale. So. I'm actually gonna take you upstairs to my closet and we'll go through stuff. This is cute, but basic. Probably going to sell that. I really like this shirt, but whenever you sweat, it like shows pit stains really bad. So I don't love that. So a couple of years ago, probably like actually a year ago, we switched to all the same color, like dark hangers. And I love it. I love like the look of it. I'm really glad we did it. It was kind of like a lot of work going through, but I think it like looks so much nicer. I love the felt hangers because nothing slips off of them. So I really like that. All right, so this is all the stuff that I am either going to sell at the garage sale or donate if it doesn't get sold. I feel like I got rid of tons of stuff from my closet, so that's really great. Ignore the mess right there. Um, so yeah, super excited about this. Hopefully some stuff sells. I feel like, I mean, I don't know, most of it I think is pretty good. It just is like not my style anymore. So um, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna be just going around and grabbing other things to put through um, on the garage sale. I have these sheets that Oak used <laughs> like twice during the winter. Um, so we're going to put those away. I have, I'm gonna go through all of my baby clothes and put a lot of baby clothes up for sale. And you want Chippendale? Oak has been loving Chippendale recently. Darren got me a pair of Lululemon Align Joggers for 
for Mother's Day. Chip and Dale. So, that's super exciting. Chip and Dale. You want some Chip and Dale? Yeah. Okay, go ask Daddy. You can turn it on. Yeah, they're just like the black. I've been really wanting a pair of the joggers, but he got me the size 25. There's no, or the size 23, because there's no 25 inch length, and I told him that's like my usual size. So I will try these on, and we'll see. Otherwise, I might return them for the 28 inch length if I feel like the crop looks funny. You guys can watch some Chip and Dale. Bubbles, no baby bubbles. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do bubbles. Yeah. All right. So, so I just. Woke up from his nap. We're gonna do some sensory play. I might have a side do it too, but I might just have Oak do it. Here. Okay. Okay, so for this, you just take your blender and you do a fourth a cup of soap. Uh oh. Careful. And then you do a half a cup of water. But maybe we'll do less so that we can do more colors. Huh? Bubbles. Yeah. Mixed okay, bubbles. so we're going to add a half of a fourth of a cup. Okay, okay we're going to put this on and then what color do you want this to be? Blue. What color? Yellow. You want yellow? Yes. Okay, let's make it yellow. Oh. Thanks for getting it out. Yellow. Yellow. Okay, ready? How many drops should we do? One, two, three, four, five? Okay, we're gonna green. put the lid on. Green, green. Okay, hold on. Mix, 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 green, green, and green. Okay, we'll do green after, okay? This one's gonna be yellow. Yellow. Okay, can you press this button, turn it on, and whip it? Okay, let's see if it's mixed enough. So. Green, yeah, so you want it to be like thicker. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, <gasps> what color should we do next? Green. Now you want green? So I try to do sensory activities every once in a while, even though they are a little bit messier, but they're fun. Okay, can you put your hands in? Yeah. Oak does not like to get his hands dirty. Oh, can you put your hands in? What does it feel like? Does it feel like bubbles? Yeah. Can you put your hand in it? Whoa! <laughs> bubbles! Mix it. Yeah, mix, mix, mix it. Mix that. Okay, can you get the yellow on you? Where's the yellow? Yeah, whoa! Mix it. Here, don't, oh, don't get it everywhere. Here you go. You wanna pour? Yeah. So, I like this one because yeah. it's really easy to clean up. Um, I mean, it's just soap. So, if he gets it everywhere, it's like not a huge deal. And, I mean, it washes out really easy, so. It's a lot of fun, and you can also like remix it if you don't do like a ton of crazy colors. All right, so I think I'm gonna end that vlog here today um, and just finish up cleaning, finish up doing some things for the garage sale while Oak plays with this. This will probably keep him entertained for a good like 15, 20 minutes, especially if I put it back in the blender and mix it all up again for him. And um, so yeah, so that's gonna be awesome. And we are gonna just work on this garage sale. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, it means a lot. Um, hopefully you got something out of it. You're able to get inspiration for some decluttering, um, different things. If any of you guys try this sensory activity, let me know and let me know how many of your kids like it, how it goes for them. And yeah, love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye.